Welcome to Realizing Global Health. My name is Dr. Elvira Baracocia. I'm the President, CEO, and Founder of Realizing Global Health, where we work to develop self-reliant, sustainable health systems that deliver quality health care to everyone, everywhere, every day. Today we're going to keep talking about what really makes a difference in global health. And today is the fourth key in the health systems. We talked about understanding the health systems, and we, st we talked about understanding the health programs. We talked about understanding health services and facilities and how they work. Now we're going to talk about the fourth element, which is the fourth key to sustaining any result in global health is having good, high-performing health providers. And that's where many of us come in because health providers, health professionals, what it's called the human health resources or the health resources for health and or human health development. And uh, all those words talk about the people, the, the human beings like you and me that work in, in an organization, a consulting company, in a hospital, in a clinic, in, in a nonprofit organization, in an initiative, in the government that really look at how we can really make a bigger difference, how we can save more lives. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, about the people and how we can help them. We are talking about, as I said, doctors, nurses, planners, policy makers, consultants, everybody. We all have to work together and we all need to have a common understanding of how each of us is going to contribute to each other's work. That's why we need to work on three things. We need to communicate, we need to collaborate, and we need to coordinate. And so the most important thing I always tell my clients is that you're not alone. You're surrounded by people. So we have to create bridges that connect us with the different levels of the health system. We talked that the health system has a governance level, a leadership level, and then uh, a healthcare delivery level that includes the private sector, the public sector, and then the nonprofit or civil society sector. So how are we building bridges across all that? So I'm working in a public or government run health clinic or a health center in a rural area or in an urban area. How do I collaborate? How do I communicate? How do I coordinate my work with the private doctors in the same city or in the same area? With a faith-based organization that is also delivering health services there? We need to work together. That is the most important thing to really enable and we have created programs to do that that help really help professionals work together because that is where our contribution really makes a much bigger impact because it gets amplified by the ability to work in coordination and network with everybody. We have to make those bridges that connect us to the hospitals, to the universities that train the people that are going to work with us, to, to the policy makers in the capital city, to my colleagues in the same city, in the same rural area. We need to create those bridges and it's really up to us. So. Think about that. Think how we can really help health providers, not only think about how they can perform better, but really how can they also support others to work better by communicating what they do, collaborating, and coordinating their work in a different way. So I hope that you enjoyed today's lecture about health providers and the role of health providers in global health. Next week, we're going to talk about a very important uh, topic, the very important key in the sustainability of global health, which is the governance. How do we really make governance work for everybody, everywhere, every day? So don't miss it. I hope I see you next time. And uh, if you want to know more about what we do, you can link with us uh, on Facebook, LinkedIn, or, or Twitter and uh, stay in touch because I believe that if we work together, if we create these bridges, we can really make a bigger impact and really realize global health. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.